Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. Uh, my name is Matt Galligan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of a company called Circa. Uh, and we're still in stealth, but we're launching a little bit later on this year. So Circa is a uh, new kind of news experience that we're building specifically for mobile devices and mobile customers. Uh, and we've built everything from the ground up on mobile so that we have all consideration going to the mobile device itself and the experience is going to be had on mobile only. So. I think the biggest piece of advice that I would give other uh, entrepreneurs, whether they've already been in the game for a long time or whether they're st starting out, this is my third company now and I think the thing that I screwed up a lot in the first time and then some on the second time and hopefully not too much now is to accept failure. You know, I think that we try so hard to sideline failure and just get past it and, and be better than that. But the reality is, like, you fail and you fail a lot and you have to just learn from those failures. And if you sideline them, if you skip past them, then you'll never learn. You'll never actually figure out what it was that uh, caused the problem in the first place. And so if you learn to accept failure, if you learn to sit there and say, okay, I'm cool with this, this sucks, but we're going to get past it and figure out how to uh, be better than it, then it's a much better scenario. And I think that all the times that I can think of where I failed and went past it, it just kind of only ever got worse. Having your own startup can be really difficult when it comes to work-life balance. I think that the inclination is to dedicate everything you have to that startup, every waking moment that you have to making something happen. But it's a serious recipe for burning out. It just happens so quickly. I know in my first company, I was working on everything 16 hours a day, and then at the end of the day, at the end of the week, I was just getting incredibly burnt out. And so, you know, the things that we employ at, at Circa, and, and frankly, you know, even a bit of the last company was is very simple. You know, you 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 take your weekends, right? Weekends are off limits as far as we're concerned at Circa. There will be some exceptions. You know, as we're getting close to our launch date, you know, we may have people work on a, on a weekend or something like that. But holidays, like big holidays, like the whatever six there are every year and each weekend are incredibly important. And then, frankly, like going home at some point, you know? You can stay till seven or eight or whatever, but at some point you cut and run. You go home, you refresh, and you come in good for tomorrow because no amount of banging your head against the wall at 9 p.m. is gonna help at, in any way. And you're gonna come in the next morning at 9 a.m. and you realize you wrote crap code or you did some sort of poor decision. And so, uh, personally, I think that the balance is incredibly important. You know, it's one thing to just constantly drive towards one particular goal. It's another to drive with the understanding that, hey, you can step aside, you can step back a little bit and get a better picture by just taking a break. Beer to me is a really interesting uh, thing. Like I, I think from a very early age, I loved just beverages. Like I lived in a tiny little town where the only outlet that I had was going to the gas station and figuring out whatever Snapple put out that month. You know, it's like that was about as much excitement as I could muster up. So I think it just was inevitable that you know I was into beverages later on in life. Beer specifically, though, I think it's an incredibly creative thing. I mean. You look at the original uh, people brewing beer and there were four ingredients, that's it, four. And somehow you had this vast array of different ways of producing something and I think that, you know, it's, it's sort of a creative outlet for me. I love tasting so many different things, I love trying different things. I've probably had hundreds and hundreds of beers over my life, I mean different kinds of beers. Um, and I like brewing my own beer. I think it's a great creative outlet. I think I can sit there and come up with a recipe and brew it and it's sort of, it's like something I created with my own two hands and there's something kind of interesting about that versus coding or designing or something where you have something physical as a result of it. Um, but I think it's just, it's awesome. I mean, whenever I'm done in tech, I'll probably go into beer because I just feel like there's something really special about the creativity and the, the restrictions and the, you know, kind of, limited, uh, you know, you're limiting yourself and somehow coming up with some sort of elegant solution. Um, so I don't know that there's really any other better way to tie it back to being an entrepreneur, but I think that, you know, beer is, uh, beer is definitely a passion of mine and I, I, it will probably be that for the rest of my life.